very good morning to my dear students i am your social studies teacher alvina gill today we are going to start with our first chapter of social studies the chapter name is story of the past history i request you all to open your books so that you can understand the chapter more clearly so when we study history we want to know that what is history so for that we will study about the history in detail study history is the study of past events this word is derived from the greek word historia which means finding out by studying history only we can get to know about our past what happened in the past and this word was derived from the greek word historia and its meaning is finding out past time was categorized into two category that is prehistory and history prehistory means the period of study before the invention of writing and history it means it refers to that period after the invention of writing so prehistory we can we can get to know that in that period writing was not invented and history time was that in which the writing was invented so we can segregate both the past times prehistory and history moving on to the next topic we have why there is need to study history why we are studying history so for that we will study we, the study of history is very important for us even it help us in the following ways like to know our past most part of the social science are than history tell us about the world in the present but history help us to understand how important how the present involved it teaches us about the past which is important to understand the present history is a systematic study of the past events actually it is a continuous story of an event leading to another studying history is the key to know our present second moving to second point to know about human culture and civilization with the help of the history we come to know about the art architecture literature customs religions etc of different societies and culture thus it is helpful in gaining knowledge of the continuous development of human culture and civilization moving on to the third point we have to lead a better life history help us to learn from the past experience and molds our future in a better way to lead a better life we need to learn the experience from the past so that we can mold our future through history we come to know about the ancestors their struggle what they have done what the problems they face what the achievements they have achieved so from all that we know and we experience and we try to lead a better life moving on to the fourth point to enable about the kings to know about the kings and ordinary people history enables us to know about the kings and statements as well by studying history only we come to know who was kings what would what life they were leading what they were doing so all things we know get to know from the history only by studying history about the kings and the ordinary people moving on to the fifth point to develop important skills and qualities the study of history helps us to understand the basic nature of our society with the help of various example it cautions people from social evils like slavery racism casteism illiteracy selfishness etc as we can see in before time these all things were prevailing so much but right now we have learned about that and we have improved ourselves so we have developed our skills and qualities six point to know about the evolution of different languages history enables us to know about the origin and evolution of different languages that we speak today these languages and scripts help us a lot to understand our past now need to compartmentalize history into ancient medieval and modern periods 
The need to compartmentalize or periodize history into ancient, medieval and modern period is necessary to understand it in chronological order. We have divided it into three era, three periods, that is your ancient, medieval and modern period. But all the changes were not same in all, all over the world. Somewhere it was earlier, somewhere it was late. As we know, in Europe, the Renaissance period began in Europe from 14th century AD. But at the same time, India's subcontinent was experiencing medieval period. So there is difference between the timings of these periods. According in Western countries, the periodization may be as under. Up to 5th century AD, it was the ancient period. 5th to 14th century AD, the medieval period. 15th century onwards, the modern period was there. So this periodization which is given here is in, is it was in Western countries. When we talk about the Indian periodization, the, in the Indian context, this periodization may be as under. Up to 7th century AD, it was marked as ancient period. From 8th to 17th century AD, it was the medieval period. 18th century onwards, it was marked as the modern period. So when we see both the periodization of Western and Indian, there is a lot of difference of timing. So it, the periodization is categorized on the basis of the changes which occurred in Western countries and Indian India. So moving ahead, just to add up to your knowledge, Herodotus is called the father of history. He was a Greek historian who was the first person to collect the material systematically, test their accuracy and arrange them in a systematic manner. Moving ahead, let's revise. As a summary of the chapter, history is a study of past events, particularly in human affairs. Prehistory is the period of time before written records were made. History helps us to understand how the present involved. The need, of, the need to compartmentalize history into the ancient, medieval and modern period is necessary to understand the subject in chronological order. The social, political, economic, cultural and technological changes did not occur simultaneously all over the world. There were differences. So, Dear student, I request you all to read the chapter once again to understand the chapter more clearly about the need of the need of the history to study, need of the compartmentalization and the periodization in Indian context and Western context. So, student, read the chapter, stay safe, stay at home, have a nice day. Thank you.